Right, here we are. We're on the Ford Transit Mark 6. We're going to do the uh, seal and step on this side, which is the offside, the driver's side. And we've got a lot of work to do, so we better start this video off. See you in a minute. Right, well as you know, it was about three or four years ago that I'd done the other side and we've done some chassis welding as well and this van's been off the road now for about probably about a year now and uh, I keep meaning to get started doing this welding on this side we've actually bought some pattern parts now so that means cutting out all the rot and we're going to be patching this up so let me show you first of all what we've got well first of all coming around the front here this sort of stuff here I'm going to be dressing up I could have bought a new replacement panels to go in there I don't really want to throw a lot of money at this to be honest with you but uh I've gone down and I've got the new uh, step seal, as you can see there. Now again, these ain't uh, proper parts which I've brought. These are sort of pattern parts. But as you can see, this rear seal is totally rotten here. And this is the one I actually bought. And uh, as you can probably see there, it's going to go on here somehow. I'm not too sure, but I didn't realise that, uh, as you can see, it's only got this lip here. And I've got to cut along here somewhere, but there's no real place to, to re-weld in. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've seen other people with panels and the replacement seal comes up to there and they just sort of join up there somewhere but uh, I'm not too sure yet but I'm going to have to cut this out and I'm not too sure what line to cut out on I might cut it out on maybe this line here for example but as you can see there this lip on this one here is far greater than that lip so I only know when I actually take it off whether or not I might have to grind a bit off of this lip here as well I'm not too sure yet so we'll know that when we come to see it I've got a bit of an issue here obviously because it rusts further up there but again I'm gonna have to deal with that and I don't know what the back inner seal is going to be like yet as I say until I get this all off uh, whether or not I'm gonna have to put a new load of metal along the, the whole length of it but as you can probably see here look this is just totally gone this is sort of a, a combination of rust and under seal liner or whatever it is they put on there but i mean look i'll get my fingers right up there look. so i think my first job is initially is going to be cut along here and get this out clean up this bottom line here and also cut out along for the front of the seal as well and as you can see there we've got the uh just below the driver's door someone's actually jacked up on that before and they've actually dented that right in so i'm gonna have to address the back part of that and maybe put some more solid metal behind there i'm not too sure yet so it's time to get the grinder out i think and i'm going to probably stick you on time lapse for that you don't need to see if i come up against anything unusual i'll obviously stop and then we'll have a little chat about it and as you can see for those of you who watched my previous video when i locked the keys in the van i've now got the window open <laughs> anyway let's get going and get this cut out see you in a minute Well, there you go that's the inner cover out now this is very hard to pull out you see i've got one two three of them little stud things that go in there that's them things there but i've actually broke the base of it because i didn't realize that you're actually supposed to unscrew them from underneath here well i'm putting my hand under there now and i can feel that they're totally rusted and corroded so you may have to do what i've just done to actually get that out but i mean you could have a go at undoing it from underneath, but as I say, the chance of it's going to be totally rusty. Or maybe slide a, a hacksaw in there or a pad saw and maybe cut through from the front here, sort of cut through. There's one bolt there and there's obviously one bolt there and all. So that's what I've come up against first of all. So that's the first issue. I didn't realise it had a jack in here as well. So looking around, this must have been used for a builder by the looks of it because there's loads of sand and cement dust in here. So. But I've seen a lot worse than this. I've seen these totally rusted out, but my one seems to be okay. So all I've got to do is just remove that now, stick it out there. And uh, as you can see, the inner step, which does go on these, my one's actually okay. So I'm going to need to know where to cut this. 
as you see that goes in there like that and what I will do is I will scribe a line where I need to cut um, so I'm looking at probably there just so I know where the, the metal ends basically you know and uh, this will be spot welded along here so same with this end I'll uh, just scribe a line around the, the paint now goes around there and also down there just sort of know exactly where we are okay Right, okay, so that's my line anyway. Gives me something to work to, so what I need to do now is grind away the surface here, and I'll find, I can see the spot welds there, let me show you. All along there, you probably can't see them all that well, but we've got little spot welds along there, which we want to drill out with a spot weld tool, which I've got, and I'll just cut straight along there, first of all, with me grinder. Normally you'd do the same underneath, you'd grind the spot welds out along there, but that lip's totally gone, so I'll just cut and get this out of the way first of all. So I'm going to do that now, and again you'll put you on time lapse. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've just ground away them now. I can now see them uh, spot weld. So I've got a special spot weld tool, which I've got here from Clark. It's basically a spot weld drill. Um, there it is there. And uh, that centre punch is uh, spring loaded there. And uh, you centre punch the spot welds and then this sort of locates in there. You push and then it cuts around the hole. So that's what I'm going to use anyway. So I'm going to do that now. Right, okay then, let's centre pop these. I've got one of these automatic centre punches, as you can probably see there. And you just go into the centre of the spot weld. Give it a few of them. Sometimes you can't see them, but... Uh, I can just about see them. Put your finger if you can't see them on the surface if you put your finger around the back you can probably feel the the uh, indentation where the spot weld is and just try and basically aim for the center another one there as you see i can't see these ones now but i can feel at the back let's try and get some holes drilled They're not the easiest things to control these. <laughs> Bit of rust breakthrough when you uh, go through. So try not push too hard too, and too fast either. Okay, I think I've uh, done what I needed to do there, so I'm going to try and prise these apart now, these spot welds. I'm just getting a screwdriver in between them there, and hopefully they'll pop off. But there might be some more there, so you've always got to 
check and go back if you need to. As I say, there's no sound how many there is, but uh, there's normally quite a few. That one ain't broke properly, look. You put, should have a bolster with this really. As you can probably see, look, we've prized it away there. So they're stuck in there. I've got most of them by the looks of it, look. So just persevere and we'll hope to flat this off. But as I say, ideally you'd have a bolster. I've got one, it's not here though. Hello, that was the old bracket that just fell onto my leg from the uh, mud flap. <laughs> right, there we go, that's that off. Right, I think that's all the top off. There. There shouldn't be a lot holding this on now. I think there's a bit down. Did I get that down there? Oh no, here we go. I think it's around the front now. Oh, where have we got here? Was there a bit there, was there? Oh, that's it. Yeah. There was a bit on that corner that was holding it. Right, here we go. Right, I've had to change cameras here. I hope you can see all right, but uh, that's it now. There was a couple more spot welds around there, which you couldn't see, so uh, I've had to make do with the most that I've got. And let me show you the state of this. Right, here you go. This is the uh, inner seal. I can see at the back there, look, there's a big hole, which I don't know whether you can see at the back. That's gonna have to be patched up as well. This is our edge here, which we're going to need to weld to. And you can also see that it's been bent up there, as I said to you before. But uh, it's not in a very good state, to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to be good enough to weld to. So I might have to put a new piece of metal all along in there as well. And also up here, which you will find, is also some internal corrosion. Now yeah, look at this, look, this is no good whatsoever, look. Look at that, look. Unbelievable. So, I'm going to have to find decent metal at the back there somewhere, which means we're getting underneath it. You do wonder whether or not it's going to be worth it, but uh, as you know by my other transit videos, I've been in this situation before. Let's open that door up. And that throws a little bit more light on it, what we've got to deal with here, under the step. Now, a lot of people just put these over the top. And as you know, that covers up all sorts of sins because as you look, look, it don't look pretty too bad now, does it? And they fill them up at the back with all plod and mastic it all up so you can't see what's underneath. But uh, that's not the way to do it, obviously. So uh, this is the inner seal. As you can probably see there. So what I'm going to have to do probably is to grind off and put a new L shape uh, grind off this flat here this 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 is no good you just can't weld to that full stop so that's no good whatsoever so I'll probably end up grinding all that off like that and then getting an angle bracket and weld under here hopefully get a good solid fixing under there and then an angle bracket down and that's going to probably need to happen all the way along, bearing in mind that this is dented up here as well. So, uh, and in here, for example, again, there's not a lot you can do with all this, apart from wire brush it out and treat it with something like the Vacatan treatment. But as you can see here, look, all under here is, is absolutely rotten, look. So that's something we're going to have to look into. So I'm just going to cut the rear sill out now, and uh, then we'll assess the situation along the whole length and then see what we need to put a support on the inside so that we can wear that outer seal still. So the inside's got to be done and also the outer. So that's where I'm at now. And then we've got the rear wheel ar ar arch to sort out as well.
Right. Okay. That's the seal cut out. And underneath here, again, similar sort of thing. All this is rotten, look, you can't you can't weld to that, look. So look, hang on, look at that, look. So I'm gonna have to put strengthening in now. Look at that, look, that's the inner seal, look. <laughs> that's what you get with old vans. Absolutely rotten. So there you go. All right, so that's what we've got to deal with. And I've still got this rear wheel arch to cut out as well and sort out, so. Up there, there's loads of mud. That's look, caked in mud up there. That's why they rot away. Look, unbelievable. Still, we'll get there. I think that'll do for this video. Now we've made a start on it, we can only go forward. So, although it can seem a bit daunting when you're chopping this sort of stuff out, if you can't weld, then you're in trouble. To give someone else this job to weld, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot of money and they'll probably say scrap the van so it's a new skill i wanted and i wanted to learn so i got myself a cheap welder uh watched a few tutorials and as you saw in my last video on the transit van when i've done the other side that was about four years ago now and that's been through three mot since then it's passed no problems whatsoever this is something we've got to deal with now and i'm in the same situation again and i'm going to do it again so anyway thanks very much i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to look out for part two in the coming week or so probably this next week i would imagine and i'll see you then so bye for now